Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss data analytics with respect to inventory at a company. So, um, you know, some of this may seem like common sense, but let me just cover it just so you kind of see the nuances here. Um, data analytics with respect to inventory. Companies um, can use data analytics uh, basically when it comes to inventory to help optimize movement, to help optimize how much inventory do you have, how fast does it come in, how fast does it go out, right? That's basically what companies care about. Turnover is another way to think about it. Um, and the way that you're going to do this with data analytics really boils down to these items that I have over here on the right. First up, identify fast selling items, right? These are the things you like, the things that move quickly. Um, next up, identify slow moving items. These are things you don't like. They sit on the shelves. They become obsolete. They potentially become extra cost in the form of waste. Now this right here, this identification of fast selling items and the identification of slow moving items, um, this is basically our, our descriptive um, data analysis. We're identifying what's going on, what's moving fast, what's moving slow, right? And so the next thing that we would want to do once we figure that out is we'd want to do some diagnostic data analytics. And so from a diagnostic standpoint, we would say, well, here's why the fast selling items are moving fast. Maybe it's just because those are the things people want. Maybe it's because there's a sale. Maybe it just has something to do with trends in the economy. Who knows? Why are the slow moving items moving slow, right? could be all the same answers. But once you know that, you've diagnosed the problem, right? You've figured out, okay, what's happening? Why is it happening? Which then brings you to your next step, predictive analytics. And that's where this one comes in, predict item demand, right? So you're gonna wanna predict these fast moving items, are they gonna stay fast? What do we think? The slow moving items, are they gonna stay slow? What do we think? And once you have that, once you have the descriptive analytics done, once you have the diagnostic analytics done, once you have the predictive analytics done, then you get to the prescriptive analytics, which mostly boils down to making quantity decisions, right? Now, I have here make quantity decisions, but it's equally fair to say and pricing decisions. And the reason I say that comes down to this. You may identify the fast moving items and you want them to stay fast moving. And so you're going to make basically a prescriptive analysis and a prescriptive decision to keep bringing those things in so that you keep having them in stock to move them back out, right? But to the extent that you predict that maybe those fast selling items are going to slow down, you're going to want to kind of taper off that inflow so that they don't become the slow moving obsolete items. To the extent that your slow moving items are able to be fixed, to the extent that you're able to say, make a pricing decision that might entice them to move faster, right? Then you're gonna make that pricing decision. And then in conjunction with that pricing decision, you might make a quantity decision saying, yeah, it's slow now, but we're gonna offer this huge sale or we're gonna bundle it with this other thing. And so we expect it to move faster. Therefore, we're gonna bring more in, even though it's a slow moving item now, right? And so that's really all it boils down to. Descriptive statistics to identify what's happening with the inventory, diagnostic uh, analytics to, 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 to determine why, predictive analytics to determine, well, what's likely to happen next, and prescriptive analytics to kind of decide, okay, what do you do about it to be in the best interest of the cost effectiveness and the profitability of the company? That's your data, data analytics with respect to inventory. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you found it helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.